Hey guys, Delt here. I finally feel like I've gotten decent enough at Cyclops to give a guide on it. So if you've been ignoring this boss, I promise it's not the most difficult to fight and putting on gear makes the mechanics a whole lot easier as well. I'll personally still make one or two mistakes every once in a while, but all in all, I do have the mechanics and there's only really four attacks that you need to be careful of. So let's get right into that. The first attack is a stomp, either get away or die. If you're not far enough away, he'll slow you, but honestly, that's fine. You should still be able to dodge all the other mechanics if you've been slowed. His second thing is a charge, and it's really not the biggest concern. You can jump the first two attacks and crouch the last one, and you could be hitting him with your sword the entire time or healing whatever you need to do. Third move to be careful of is the Petrify. When he leans forward and you hear a really high pitch noise, just get as close to his side as you can. And then the last mechanic that you're definitely going to learn is the Rock Fall. This is a DPS check, so you have to be dealing damage to him or this won't end. So he slam, we're going to wait a second, and then we're going to jump and crouch while midair. This will give us the best chance of dodging as many rocks as we can. And just make sure that you bring some heals because you're probably going to take some damage from the Rock Fall, even if you've done this a million times. But anyway, here it is one full cyclops kill for you this one was probably my best one that i've done so far i think i only messed up once or twice and it was just very small mistakes that were easy enough to come back from and i will say if you're wanting to learn this fight rogue and bard definitely have the easiest time rogues double jump just helps them not get hit from rockfall and bard just outputs an insane amount of damage with their rapiers and there is one more honorable mention at the end but the problem is if you learn this fight on that class it doesn't mean that you can do it on any other class so after this fight i'm gonna do one more cyclops where i got really lucky to show that it can happen sometimes even when you make mistakes you can still get the kill and then i'm gonna show you what probably the easiest way to kill this boss is but once again if you learn how to do the method at the end hint hint it's a warlock you're not necessarily going to know how to do the fight on any other class still all right i'm done talking now i'm just gonna go over what's happening as i'm sure you've probably noticed at this point for every other attack the cyclops goes we're just gonna circle around to his right we might jump we might back up basically as long as we move around him we're fine and with us circling right that's how we don't get the dust particles to fill our screen which can be really annoying Petrify, get to his side. Stomp, get away. But I'm really close, so this is actually where you saw me get slowed before. And it always feels good when you're able to get through Rockfall without taking any damage. And this is one of the mistakes I made. I just didn't jump back quick enough. And here, as I was healing, he actually went into rock ball phase. So I immediately stopped bandaging and tried to take him out of the phase as quickly as I could. After three rock balls, he's basically dead. So I'd recommend trying to heal as much as you can, just in case someone's waiting outside. A lot of times people won't push in until the boss is dead. All 
All right, and then just from that one boss fight, I got all of these items on the left. I kept some of them, sold some of the others, and we also made over 500 gold just in collectibles. Okay, and here's the one where I actually messed up a couple times pretty badly. I should have died, but sometimes you can get away with it. Here's where I messed up. Just be careful not to be standing too far away from him or you'll be petrified almost every time. It's a whole lot faster than the troll screen. This time was another mistake. I shouldn't have DPS'd him there while I was still slowed because I still had the slow effect on me when he went into his next petrify. But once again, never punished. Also be careful of the chains because I jumped right into them and got hit there. All right, and if you want the most foolproof way of killing this boss, run Torture Mastery on your Warlock. You can basically just kite the boss the entire time. Use Power of Sacrifice, use Curse of Pain, use Hellfire, use Flame Walker, and even in base kit, you can get the kill. In this specific game, I was not running base kit because I found some things while I was on the way here. We came in base kit, and that's why I don't have any gloves on. All right, and the reason why this is absolutely free low for killing your Cyclops is because Warlocks also have Phantom Eyes, and you can use that to ignore any 
of the mechanics that you choose to. Because I don't think Rockfall is that bad, I'm using it to ignore Petrify, and I'm just continuing to kite, and when he petrifies me, I just Phantomize, dodge the next attack, and we're fine. But if you are really struggling with Rockfall, just use Flamewalker instead, and as soon as he goes into Rockfall, Flamewalker, Phantomize, get out, and then just finish doing damage to him if there's still a little bit more. But yeah, that's basically the entire strategy. And I'm just going to play through the rest of this cave troll fight. I started it late, so we actually sort of run out of time to loot everything, but I still do it anyway. Also, since more people are likely to kill Cape Troll, whenever you kill Cyclops, just make sure you run down here and check to see if somebody did kill Cape Troll. Because if they did, there is a small chance that you can get legendaries in this middle room here. And other than pulling from the loot pile, this is, I think, the only place that has a chance to have legendaries in solo matches.
And even just from that game, we didn't get the most collectibles, but we were able to get a really nice Bardiche and some nice capes and a few other things. And this is basically a zero to hero in one round. I think I ended up with about six magic healing and six to nine additional magic damage, which is huge going from nothing. So I'm probably just going to keep running Cyclops on my Warlock as well. Anyway, I hope you all enjoyed the video and that it was helpful to you. And if it was, please just give the video a like, a comment or subscribe to the channel for more content. Also, if you're wanting to join a community of other gamers who also like Dark and Darker and other video games like it, or you just want to stay more up to date with me, I'm going to have my community discord linked in the description below. Feel free to click that, come by and say hello. I hope you all have a great day and I hope to see you next time. Peace.